Welcome to the Aromatic Pipe. Mmm, that smells good. Hi, I'm Steve, and I like to talk about the art and pleasure of smoking aromatic pipe tobaccos. And, and today, I'm going to be reviewing Peterson's Sweet Killarney. On their website, Peterson says, A unique mixture of selected tobaccos, including Virginia Burley, blended with some black Cavendish, and topped with a cream caramel flavor. A final sprinkle of hand-rubbed Virginia Flake is added to create a comforting aroma. And they rate it with a medium strength, a strength of three, an aromatic taste of three, and a room note of three. Um, so let's do the tin opening. Okay, so here we go. We're going to break the seal on this puppy. Now this is the second can of this I've had. been smoking it for a couple weeks. There it was. The vacuum seal broke. We open this up. Nice packaging. And the smell that wafts up is wonderful. You can see in here the Virginias. Can you see that? And the black Cavendish. It's pressed in there pretty tightly as it is in a lot of these tins. Now, it may feel moist a little bit to some of you, but it's definitely not too moist. And so you see in here we have some broken flakes as well as the Virginia and the Cavendish. The black there is the Cavendish that's in there. Now, after my experience with my first tin, I would recommend that you jar this up right away because it dries out a little too quickly. So what I do is I make a picture of the tin and put it on the top so I know what's in it. And then what I do is uh, I just take it right out of here and break it up as I go to loosen it up and stick it in there. Now this little tin will fill up this jar. And uh, so you don't need to watch this. So I'll get right back to you. Okay, I've got that all jarred up, and now um, the, the pipe I'm going to be using today is, uh, I thought since we're trying a Peterson's pipe tobacco, i pull out my Peterson Shamrock, or St. Patrick's Day Billiard. And of course, uh, it's the Protestant version with the orange band <laughs> instead of a green St. Patrick's Day pipe. So you see how I, I, I kind of loosened up that tobacco. And really that's what you want to do um, when we talk about the way that I feed things. I like to use the, these, uh, whatever you call these, they look like coffee filters that come in this sometimes, especially with this. Now this is a little more difficult to pack. I usually like to gravity feed, but what's happened is uh, with these flakes, you kind of have to be just pressed down gently. Um, so you know, since I normally pack pretty loosely compared to most people, it's a real light touch on here. It may look like there's more than that. But uh, hopefully you can see that. And then I like to, putting my thumb across the bowl, not down in the bowl, I like to kind of lock those top leaves together. Like that. Maybe just a touch more. There we go. So I haven't really pressed down as I've done this, and that's how I've packed the bowl. Now you can see I haven't lost any tobacco since I used this thing, so I'll dump what I had here in the lid in this thing, gather it up, make a little funnel. This is really, you know, I kind of like those guys that have those fancy uh, 
the, the trays. But if you don't have that, this is great, especially with tin tobacco. You maybe even keep this around for when you have other tobaccos from the tobacco store. So it's all in there. I'm going to seal that up real tightly because, like I said, this, this stuff tends to be just barely uh, moist enough for my taste. Um, of course, you know, uh, with my method, I like to have some moisture in there. Um, so that's all ready to go, packed up, ready to go. And we're ready to try a smoke. Okay, so I guess we should talk about uh, Tin Note. Uh, it, it's a real apricot kind of smell. Um, it smells heavy casing. It really uh, calms down you know, uh, with age on this one. I, I read in somebody else's review and um, their experience was they didn't really like it, but then they jarred it up for a little while. It's, it's definitely aromatic, so. And, and it's pretty strong. Uh, but like I said, that calms down as you go. But it, it's pretty, pretty much like apricots is what it smells like, more than uh, caramel that they talked about uh, on, on their website. All right, I keep looking the wrong way because I, my camera got turned over as I rearrange things here. Uh, what I'm using uh, to drink with this today, as many of you know that I, I like to talk about that, I'm using Sheffield Tawny Port, which is one of my favorite drinks, but especially with this tobacco, as I've learned, um, and, and we'll get into why that is here in a minute. Um, so uh, I'll light up and uh, I'll start again here. All right, we're going now. And I've lit this using my methods, as you can see. Uh, why don't light up the whole top? I, I, I light up a section in the middle and I try to go slow as I'm lighting it up. I find myself rushing a little bit when I do these videos, which isn't always the best thing. But I like to smoke cool, and that works best with aromatics. So what I found with this tobacco is that that apricot smell that you get from the tin note, when you're smoking it, it tastes uh, kind of raisiny to me. Now you still get that dried fruit kind of thing, but now it actually mixes better with the tobacco in my mouth than it did in the smell in the tin. The smoke has a nice feel. It's, it's a nice, uh, thicker smoke. I think they got it right. It, it's, it's, you know, a, a medium smoke. It, it's, it's a medium taste. Uh, some of the reviews, I noticed that sometimes when you look at how people review things, you look at some of the things maybe that they do like. And those who like heavy Latakia hits kind of thing, and they're coming off of English as English smokers, and they like heavy English, um, this is probably too mild for them, you know. Uh, I tend to go for, for medium strength. Um, I, I, I do the opposite of what a lot of people do. A lot of people smoke a lot of English, and they'll have an aromatic every once in a while. I do just the opposite. I smoke a lot of aromatic. Every once in a while, I have an English for a change of pace. I do not like a lot of Kia hit that smacks me upside the head. So this is perfect for me. Now, that raisiny tobacco, medium strength, nice smoke feel goes very well with Tawny Port. Um, they emphasize a lot of the same flavors when that comes down. Now, as many of you know, I really like Boswell tobaccos. And this, for me, is a good change of pace. 
it has, um, how do I, how do I put this? Uh, it, it's got like a different sharpness to it. Uh, that makes it a nice change of pace uh, from my Boswells. Uh, but it's still kind of an all-day smoke uh, kind of tobacco. Now, it's going to be more nuanced than a lot of English tobaccos. And, and the, the, the flavor tends to stay the same all through the bowl, there's some slight variation as you go through, but it's not a variation due to where you are in the bowl. It's not about ash buildup or any of that stuff. And the mechanics on it are really good. They, they work out really well. It's not a fussy tobacco. You can uh, smoke this without fussing a whole lot. The ash doesn't seem to interfere with the flavor much at all. Um, you know, you can tap it out now and then. It's plenty. I've been smoking this for a couple weeks, and uh, I pretty much smoked the first tin all the way uh, down. I just had a little bit there. You might have seen it in the jar when I went to fill up that jar that I had a little bit left in the bottom. And, and this is a, a new tin that I started here because I want to get that fresh. It does mellow out a little bit when, it, uh, when you age it a little bit. But that first tin, I kept it in the tin rather than transfer it to a jar right away. So I'm actually hoping um, that it holds on a little more to its extra punch. Um, like every tobacco, if it dries out, as it dries out, it kind of mellows out uh, what it does. And so you can mess with it a little bit by messing with the moisture. Um, what I tend to do is, you know, they have those, those little metal things that you can put uh, moisture back into it by just putting some water in that. Now, now, they recommend on those little humidifiers, they're called, uh, that you dunk them in a glass of water and uh, let them sit there for a little bit before you put it in. What I do is I, I kind of meter that out. If I just hold under the faucet for a little bit, if I just want to add a little bit of moisture back in. I probably tend to like my tobacco a little mo more moist than a lot of the smokers I've seen. And it's because I, I, I don't draw on it heavy and I, I don't, you know, tug at it hard. Even though if I'm trying to warm it up, my cadence might be faster, but it doesn't mean I'm drawing on it, uh, like sucking on it. This tobacco, to keep the flavor right, it, it's something that likes to be smoked a little cooler. Um, I did a review not too long ago on the Nutty Irishman. It likes to be a bit warm. This one likes, likes to be like in that medium range. It, there's a lot about this that's kind of in that medium range. It's a nice, comfortable. Um, what I advise when you're smoking all tobaccos is kind of figure out at what temperature it wants to be. And you can mess with that once you've learned how to uh, manage the burn rate of your tobacco as you're smoking it with your cadence and with your pull. You can play with the temperature a little bit and you'll find that every tobacco kind of has its point. Now what I found is it's better to sneak up on it uh, because once you get it going too hot, um, it has a tendency to change the flavor uh, somehow, and, and some tobaccos will kind of go over the edge on you, and it's hard to pull it back. I find with a lot of aromatics, you know, you get to that medium 
to a little warm, and that's really where the tobacco is going to have its most flavor. I, I like this tobacco a lot. It, it works for me. Um, especially with a tawny pork. Um, I should probably report actual results, but I'm new to this tobacco review thing. But I imagine it would go very well with coffee, don't so much about tea. My usual favorite drinks, you know, soda, this would go fine with soda. This would go fine with a lot of, of, of different drinks. And again, um, you know, some of the uh, mixed drinks. Now, what I'd be interested to know is, um, I can imagine it go well with beer. Um, I'd be interested to know whiskey. I should probably try whiskey. Um, but I recommend this tobacco. If you're looking for a jolt, you're not going to like it. If you like a real light, wispy smoke, probably not going to like it so much. It's a raisiny taste, um, but it's something that I like. And um, so that's my review on um, Peterson's Sweet Killarney. It, it, it gets thumbs up from me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit subscribe and like. And uh, I'll see you next time.